Just as grilling season kicks into high gear, beef prices are shooting up again. And if you're planning to buy steaks, prepare yourself to pay more. It's today's Don't Waste Your Money report. Here at Layers Prime Market, how do you want them cut up? Customers like Bruce Pennington are seeing the cost of their summer barbecue going up again. Steaks and roasts, I mean, that, that's just crazy. Owner Allison Holman is trying not to pass every supplier hike on to her customers. We're doing our best to keep our margins as low as we possibly can, but at some point, we, there are certain margins we have to make in order to stay in business. Now, a hack that temporarily paused production in one of the world's largest beef producers, JBS Meat Products, has impacted five U.S. plants. Luckily, Lairs gets its beef from nearby farms, but those prices are up too. They've raised $9 a pound. That's our tenderloin. Purchasing manager JT Homan has been forced to raise the price of tenderloin fillets to $28 a pound, the highest ever. Ribeyes, those raise $5 a pound on our cost, strips four. So what's a consumer supposed to do? The easiest option is to buy a cheaper cut of beef, like sirloin, and then marinate it well. Or you can buy a more unusual cut of beef where prices have not gone up so much. Goo options haven't raised at all, and I think it's just because not everybody uses them the same way. Allison wishes she could predict lower prices this fall, but that things are going to even out or even come back down a bit, but nobody really knows what the future holds. Butcher shops are hoping their customers understand that they are not profiting from this price surge and are feeling it just as much as the shoppers are. And